Now listen, this is a little high here. This is the low blow. Anything below here is low. You understand? You can hit up here. Anything below here is low. I gave you the instructions in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands at all times and protect yourself at all times. Are there any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Touch them up and go. All right. It's serious, Oof. as it should be, because this is for the IBF Featherweight Championship of the World. Let's roll, let's roll. Twelve three-minute rounds coming your way on Main Event Boxing. It is the champion, Billy Dib, in the black trunks, Eduardo Escobedo, the Mexican, the challenger in the black. Tell you what, is Billy Dib fired up or what? Hey, He sure is. Don't Brother. Do that. Don't do that. The Mexican very cool in the opening seconds, but Billy Dib very angry. Harnessing the emotion, controlling the emotion. Oh, You've got to be careful in the first round. You've got to size your punch a little bit. He needs to be a bit careful. He nearly got caught there, Billy. Dib across the ring with confidence. Billy looks the bigger of the two. He looks quite a bit bigger, even though Escobedo struggled to make the, the weight. Escobedo already changing levels. Very cool, the Mexican. Very cool. Very. Look at that beautiful side step. Defending with your feet. Behind the head again. Yeah, he's going to get warned for it. Needs to calm himself down, Billy, and get on the side on and use that jab of his. Billy ripping to the body with the Mexican in the corner. Engaging. Oh, oh big shot. A big right hand there. Bomb of a right hand. But he, tell you what, he took it well, I think, the Mexican. The big punches from Billy Dib in the opening minute or so. Oh, forearm, left hook. Yeah. 
couple of warnings in the opening minute 45 as Dib defends a three punch combination. You know what this the Mexican would have seen all this before. Oh, that was a beautiful was a nice one. Hand. Hand. Back against the ropes, the Mexican Dib controlling with power, controlling with pressure. I tell you what, he's looking a different fighter here, Billy Dibby, just opening up with some bombs. He said he wants to entertain. Fighting a different fight than what we've seen, but oh, lovely left hook from the Mexican. Came back with a loop and left up there. Widely criticised was Billy Dib following his early career venture to the United States. Exactly right. And he wants to show the Americans and the decision makers that he's got plenty. Fuck, it's up to shit. Come on, come on. Hit him low. Hit him low. And the Mexican is down. Come on. Time is Looks called. Looks like it's called the low blow. You get five minutes. Five minutes is the call here. The referee seems like a no-nonsense ref. He's not taking any, is he? You get five minutes. You all right? Escobedo wants to fight on. Keep him up. I don't know how many more warnings Billy Dib is going to get. Yeah, he wants to be careful, Billy Dib. He's going he's to get disqualified, but he... Unless he knocks out Escobedo first, and that's the plan, although Dib walks into a right hook nice that right came hook. from nowhere. The Mexican in a lot of a lot of trouble, I think, but also countering well. Last warning! Another low blow. Point. Get out of here! Get out of here! Last oh. warning for a low blow, several warnings for holding down, warnings for use of the shoulder. Oof. Billy and the ref haven't got off to a good point. And, and the elbow, use of the elbow. Oh, Got to cool down. Let's take a look at round one. Jib walked into a nice left hand there, but it was Billy throwing. For mine, anyway, the better punches of the opening round. Yes. He's got to be careful. Billy's got to control his aggression. Exactly right, Andy. Oh, that was blatantly low. Blatantly low. Oh. Second down, round two. Box. A calming word, let's hope, from the champion's corner. It started high-paced. There's no reason to believe it won't continue. Exactly. Even though Billy Hussain, Billy Dib's trainer, is, is asking him to calm down and just um, work off that jab. His body shots are, you know, I mean, vicious. some are south of the, the border, but his body shots are vicious. Power in his body shots from Billy Dib. The game plan is to back the Mexican up, to change levels, to punch at angles. In speaking with Billy Hussain throughout the week, they have refined and changed the makeup of Billy Dib as a champion. That's correct. You can still do that with composure, though, Andy. Uh, and you've got to be composed. Okay. Yeah, he, he has to compose himself. Otherwise, you're going to lose his title and disqualification. And that is the last thing anybody wants. Absolutely. These two were penciled in to fight each other. Previously, it was cancelled. Tempest fled. Escobedo with the threat, the slit across the throat gesture. <laughs> it certainly fired up, Dib. Ripping to the body, coming over the top. I tell you what, pulling the. Oh, he's going. Box. Ernie Sh Sheriff, the referee. The referee certainly not taking any, uh, any any rough stuff, any fouls. He's a no-nonsense ref, Barry. He sure is. He sure is. Escobedo was on the end of a short right there. Look, he's, Billy hit him a couple of clean shots in round one, flush on the chin. Yep. There's nothing wrong with this Mexican chin, and that goes without saying the Mexicans are, the Mexicans are just the toughest guys anywhere in the world. And this guy's no exception. Born tough, grew tough, stay tough. Yeah, it's a Mexican. 
But you know what, Billy Billy Dibb, even though he's, a lot of his shots have been south of the, the border, his body shots are vicious. Vicious. Doing damage. Mexican doesn't like it. He's beating him in his own game. Hammering the body. They can really slow down your opponent in them body shots, Barry. Can't they ever? Changing levels now, the Mexican. Predominantly with his left hand. Over Got the top of the straight right. Nice right hand, he's finding his range a little bit. 30 seconds remain in round number two. And Dib started this gear in fourth gear. Has not touched the brakes. Has not shuffled down into third at all. No, look, what he's trying to do, Billy, is to capture the American people, you know, to get them behind him with an aggressive style. Because he's been criticised before, you know, for being like on the move, basically. He's fighting a totally different fight here. I told you, he's turning his head away this way. You've got to, instead of worrying about this side, I want you to, if you're going to throw a right uppercut, head to the side, left grip on that side. The right uppercut, left grip, but take your legs with you. Now, with the uh, build, he's going to lie this side. Throw that right uppercut and adjust to the front leg and rip him on this side here. Left to the right. Right uppercut, left grip. After you punch, you've got to stay low because he's hooking. You've got to be on the outside for your left grip. Right. A lot of fainting. You have legs wide, legs wide. Yeah? All good? The cheer squad is here. Bill, he's fighting, he's fighting. All down from Sydney. Team Deep. Billy Hussain. Hussey Hussain. Brian Wilmot in the corner for the champion who comes out swinging. Backing up the Mexican one more time. I wonder how the judges are scoring this at the moment with the deduction and uh, warnings, etc. There's no, there's no deduction. No, I, deduction. Didn't he take, I, thought he took, I thought he took a point. Sorry. Okay, no deduction. Enough warnings anyway. Yeah, the next warning could well be a deduction. Popping out the left hand. Not getting through the defences. Not yet anyway. God damn it, don't he's, do it again. I tell you what. He's getting... I think, I think he put the referee on notice with all them early low shots and now the referee's really looking for anything. Well, the referee's got to do something. He can't yeah, keep absolutely. warning. Very true. I'm hoping he does. I don't want to see Billy Dib lose a point for any of this. Listening to Billy Hussain in the corner, he's desperately trying to get him to execute the game plan. This is some really powerful body work yeah, from absolutely. Billy Dib. There. Unbelievable body work from Billy. He's beating the Mexican in his own game. Fifty seven point one five kilo, one hundred and twenty six pound or right on nine stone. The weight limit for the featherweight division. That one was on the belt from Dib allowed to go, but holding and punching there. I told you he's going to lose a point here. We're going to see the point. One told point. you there was a point. One point. One Fair point. enough. I mean, you know, he's got to do something. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? Said I'll disqualify your backside. Oh, that would not be good. Now the body work again from Dib. A point down as we close out the third. The Mexican's gonna go, I'm telling you. He's copy, he can't take much more of this. That was low, that was low, it Billy. Was low. Billy. Billy's working very hard downstairs though, trying to get him out of them with them body punches. He's hurting the Mexican with those body shots. The Mexican turns deep. Like two Billy Gates, they butt heads as they look for ring position. 30 seconds remaining in the round. Escobedo is a cagey character, guys. Let's not forget, he's gone the distance with Daniel Ponce de Leon yes. some years back. Oh, that was low again, Billy. Mexican countering with some good shots here. What is it going to take to put this bloke down, the Mexican? Well, he's a tough cookie. Has been finished only once in now 36 fights. The speed of Billy did 
on top there. The um, rib cage starting to look a little pink on the Mexican. Don't hold his head down anymore. He's doing whatever he can to take points off. Listen to me. When he's at, your heads are in there, you've got to switch your feet. Can, remember, we've been changing levels. Switch to one side or switch to the other. Bill, you're sitting in the red zone, the danger zone. Switch to the left or right. Whichever side you got to go, you got to punch. Hey, look at me in the eye. Are you going to switch legs? Yeah. Are you going to turn your angle? Yeah. You're not going to stand with a flat-footed fighter? Yeah. Show me your legs, got amazing legs. Yeah. All right? Round four starts after the champion Billy Dib was deducted a point in round number three for holding down. After repeated warnings, body shots, they continue. Watch the elbow, watch the elbow. Tries to come over the top with a left hook there, Billy Dib. <laughs> the crowd enjoyed that one. They did. <laughs> but, you know, I mean... What do you think? Do you think the, Me the Mexican with this awesome knockout record, he doesn't really see it? He's a good fighter. It's tough. He can't hold his head down the punch. Okay. Oh, dear. Punch. Oh, he's hurt, Billy Dib. He walked into a he's right hand. He's hurt. And Gibbs. He's recovered, but he was yeah, hurt bad. He, he certainly he rattled, not rocked again. Yeah, he's still hurt. Oh, just trying to find his legs midway through round number four as Billy did. I was wondering where that punch and power was from the Mexican. Look in his record and he just landed a bomb of a right hand. Hurt Billy did. Well, the way Billy was fighting him, it's like he had no respect for the Mexican at all. Yes. And that's just captured a little bit of respect back there from the Mexican. And this is where Billy's got to be careful. We heard Billy Hussain said, step left, step right. Exactly. Use your angles coming from the side. Exactly right. You can't throw caution to the wind at this level. All this early in the fight. Exactly. Right. Yeah, I'm surprised. I would have thought he'd be a bit more cautious, Andy. I would have thought he would have felt his opponent out, but he, he just went flat out from round one. Well, oh. he's, well he's coming off a first-round KO in his last fight. I mean, he must feel like Superman. Absolutely. And the Mexican now struggling. He wears a couple of right hands. You can't push him, man. The Mexican's cool, though. He's very cool indeed. He sure is. One of two things are going through Billy Gibbs' mind. I can finish him because I know I'm wearing him down. Or oh, what on earth do I have to do to stop this play? Nice shots from Dib, who then wears one. Billy Dib's got to be cautious. He can be hurt. The Mexican showed he can hurt him. Not a great deal has changed in the Mexican's demeanour, nor his body language. Uh, as I said, he's as cool as a cucumber. He's very cool, considering and some of the punishment is taken. And, yeah. and the stance remains the same for the Mexican. Lending weight to the suggestion, maybe he hasn't been hurt as bad as we... Yep, big chance. Oh, was that low? Borderline, I think. Good shots from Billy D. Well, Escobedo's eyes are clear and he's competitive. So there's always danger. Oh, tough fight. Back to the corners we go. Osumanu Adama, a challenger for the IBF middleweight title. Oh, they're dancing up a treat. In the dressing room, things are nice and relaxed. The music is blaring. There's the trainer, Joseph Aguinonga. I'll tell you what, he's talked it up in the last week or so, hasn't he? Big Joe. Oh. If talking the game was an Olympic sport, he'd be a national <laughs> hero. He'd be a gold medalist. Second down, round number five. <laughs> Some stuff I haven't seen. Wow. 
Back to the action and round five in the battle for the IBF featherweight championship. A mandatory defense against the number one challenger and the second title defense of Billy Dib. That's what I, I like to see Billy get side on, nice and tucked up, use that jab of his and stop the fouling, you know, push him down. Yeah. He won the title in 12 rounds, a points decision over Jorge Lassieva. Did Billy Dib? Defended it for the first time with a first round knockout of the previously undefeated Italian Alberto Servaday. Nice turn and throw. A nice angle move that Billy um, Hassan has yeah. been looking for. He's doing some great stuff, Billy. He really is, but he's just got to be cautious. But the Mexican looks clear, he looks composed. I mean, yes. he, looks, he still looks in the fight even though he's clearly Look, losing. The Mexican's dangerous. He's very dangerous. Four rounds to Dib. No rounds potentially to, to the Mexican. But only two points separate because of that one point deduction. Yep, exactly. Dib looking to finish. Eduardo Escobedo here, the number one challenger for the 126 title of the IBF. Certainly dominant with his strength and his power, Billy. Dib bullies his way into the corner. Uppercut after uppercut. Now yes. rips to the body. That left rip we saw him perfecting and training for in the dressing room earlier. He's wearing the Mexican down, there's no doubt about that. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. Only lost once in 20 fights since 2004. And that was to Daniel Ponce de Leon. Oh, he's hurt the Mexican. Who tries to turn here. Dib has none of it. Sign of physical strength from Billy Dib. Yes. Trying to come in at those angles. Billy Hussain requested. Right hand is ready. There it goes from Dib. Fires it away. Unbelievable. Just got the Mexican pinned on the ropes and wailing away with both hands. Yeah, the Mexican is on. started to slow. That is evident in round number five. Exactly right. He's bending very low. The body shots have got to be taking their toll. And especially when your weight weakens. the IBF middleweight champion of the world, Daniel Giel, going through his pre-fight routine with trainer Graham Shaw, the IBF middleweight title. It is up next. Sharp speed work just prior to coming into the ring. You want to build up the sweat. You don't want to do anything don't powerful. Want to do, don't want to do too much. How cool is this dressing room? Robbie Medley there, former national champion, Rani Ganoy. Second up, round six. Oh. Round number six. The Mexican must. Oh. oh, there's that right hand again, but Billy seemed to take it pretty well. Has Took Dib been well. rocked early seconds? Round six as the Mexican tries to turn. Hard to turn though when your opponent chases you. He, across the span of the ropes. Billy just looks so much bigger and stronger, but the Mexican is now turning the tide in this fight a little bit. He did that well to start this round, the Mexican. But Billy does. He seems so much bigger and so much stronger. He looks it and it feels it. Oh. 30 seconds into the sixth round. Run out of the way nicely there, did Escobedo. He's landed nice some turn. good right hand. Nice left uppercut right hand there. Just put a little stop to Billy Dibb's aggression. 
Trying to go to the body with that initial shot, then over the top of Billy Gibbs' left shoulder with his right hand. Back to the ropes, and this is where the damage has been done from the champ. Oh, four punch combination, all scoring shots, all good shots from Dick. Heads coming together, shoulders clashing. Pressure, pressure, pressure from Billy Dib. You know that's wrong. These good Mexican fighters, but I'm not sure if you've been over there, they have these wars constantly yeah. in fights and in the gym. So, I mean, he may be used to this. Yeah, I'm thinking that for sure. Every now and then he comes out with a clean right hand. I think his right hand is the, he's got the most power in it, not his left hand, the, the Mexican. I think his right hand's the dangerous shot. But Billy, you know, just overpowering him. Completely overpowering him in every way, every dimension. 70 combined uh, wait, fights wait. between these two athletes, 43 combined stoppages. Yeah. A minute to go, round number six. Good little right hand shot there from the Mexican. Comparatively, they are very little shots as far as power generated True. is concerned. They are clean, but yeah. he, he, every now and then he does come out with one that. Uh, Take Billy's notice. Right up a cut there from... Like that one? Yep. But Billy... Oh, Billy was hurt. He was hurt with the right hand. He's got to hold on. He's been hit with the right hand bomb, Billy. He's got to be cautious. Right hook there. From Escobedo. Caught the attention of Dib. And now fires with three successive right hands. Has a look up at the big screen here to try and get a gauge on the timepiece. Did with a right uppercut and the Mexican stumbles it. back to the ropes. Got to take its toll on the Mexican, this fight. Take it toll, Billy. Just maybe Straight just about right gone. And the bell separates the two. Oh, I think the Mexican really feeling the pace yeah. there. A little bit doggy. Championship of the world. The Mexican himself retires in the corner. Unbelievable. Too many punches, too much punishment, and Billy Dib remains the champ. Unbelievable. No question about Billy's aggression in this one. Oh. to the point in round number three. Too much pressure just wore the Mexican down. And the look on the face as soon as Eduardo Escobedo took his seat in the corner, it told a story. It sure did. As the champ's hands are raised again. Wow. Don't you think he's happy? Billy Dib oh, still on top of the world. And closer to fulfilling a dream. And that dream is to dominate and unify the featherweight division. Well, based on that performance, he was certainly dominant against a, a very, very good Mexican opponent. The number one in the world in the IBF the featherweight division. Hey, boys, run us through some of the highlights. Well, Billy was always looking for the big shot. I mean, he was looking to get him out of there. Every single punch was thrown with intention. There was never any any danger of this going to the scorecards in Billy's head, I, I think, Barry. No, for sure. Look, that, that was just before the end of the fight. A beautiful right hand from Billy Dib, and then a left hook, and then the bell rings, and he throws one after the bell, and then he retired in the corner. I think he was um, just a little bit groggy. Yes, and it possibly. Was just a natural reaction to pop one out there. Yeah. Or maybe it was just a case of, I know I'm retiring, I'm going to throw one in. <laughs> just to get one more in. After the bell. Uh, well done, Billy Dib. He's got to be proud of himself on this performance. Right, for sure. 
No, very strong performance on the world stage. Yeah, on the world stage. Exactly. And that's probably the key phrase here. Seven and eight, independently ranked 126s in the world. Eyes open all of a sudden across the globe. Let's go centre ring. Let's go to Glenn and make this one official. Well, in round seven tonight, the challenger Eduardo Escobedo choosing not to continue with the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, he is still the IBF featherweight champion of the world. Give it up for Billy the Kid D. Look at the emotion in that face. This title means so much.